I am the music director at my church, and my husband is the technical director. <laughs> I've always been an introvert, but I have learned over the years to hide it pretty good. I ride a motorcycle. I can be in my own little world in my helmet. It's really fun. I like speed. <laughs> to be 100% honest, my most uncomfortable place is front and center on a stage. My husband was the one that really encouraged me to step out of my comfort zone. I absolutely loved it. I really think that you're a star. She doesn't know how talented she is. She stops a room with her voice, and uh, I feel like I get to hear it all the time, and I want other people to hear it. The truth is that I love to sing. An opportunity like this does not come to a lot of people, especially people like me. Feeling out of your comfort zone is not very fun. <laughs> But in a lot of ways, it's good too, because if you're comfortable for your whole life, then you're not gonna get a lot out of it. What a rendition! Great job. Judge Howard Stern. Well, now we're having a fantastic night on America's Got Talent. Now I'm happy. He's happy. He's Very no simple. longer grumpy. We got to put four people through. I've got good news for you. You're going to go through. America will vote for you. I can guarantee it. You deserve it. You are a star, Howie is right. And you know, that song, Believe, I've listened to that song a million times like everybody else has. You took it, and for the first time I heard the words, and the words meant something to me. You took a song that we all know and made it new. You put it in your own style. You are fantastic, you look fantastic, you look like a star, and you're gonna have a huge career. And I'll tell you another thing, the way you sat at that piano, I had Lady Gaga in my studio playing a piano just like that, and you were right up there with her. I'm very proud of you tonight. Fabulous. You. Yeah. Heidi. I thought that you were very clever on the way you sang this song of Cher. You know, it was just your beautiful voice and the piano, because sometimes we cannot really hear the artist's voice because there's all these instruments and it's loud, and you're like, huh, I can't hear her. I mean, we could really hear a pin drop, your voice was beautiful. I loved it. I'm also very happy. Just the way Howard is very happy. Miss Mel B. Cammy. Well, that was very bloody brave. <laughs> but you know what I have to say? I think you've given Cher an idea on how to actually sing that song. Right. I have to say. I love right. Cher too. I love Cher too. But you just took it to a whole other level. Giving Cher a run for her money. I'm telling you. Mr. Mandel. 
You know, you said something in the package. You said things like this don't happen to people like you. And I don't know what you meant by that, because you, young lady, are stunning. You're beautiful. You're stunningly talented. You are brilliant. You're a star. That's exactly what happens to people like, like you. <laughs> wow, Cam. A brave rendition that seems to have paid off. All the judges loved it. Everyone here loved it. What made you make that decision? I just, I love to rearrange music and I wanted to choose something that would relate to everybody. Well done, well done. To put Camby Bradley into the semifinals, call 1-866-60-AGT-07. That's one 866 60